Hello there, and thanks for joining. Today we're going to talk about the creating a sales order and turning it into a drop shipment. So for this demonstration, we're going to go in and we'll create a quick sales order. And we'll come in and we'll pick our customer. And we'll pick an item. Okay, so we need one of these. And now we have our sales order. Everything's good. As we move over to the right, there is a flag here. And you can move these columns around anywhere you want. So if this is more convenient to keep this column that we're going to look at uh, further to the left, you know, no problem. You can move it over. The column is marked for PO. So when we check this and we scroll over more to the right, you notice I'm going to move these two together here. There's an option here. So what this does is this allows you to have a purchase order created where the, the inventory is allocated directly. So the minute this purchase order is created and it gets received, it's hard allocated to this particular order. But in this case, we're going to do a drop ship. So we're going to save this. And there's two ways to do this. As you've seen some previous demos, you'll note that uh, in Acumatica, you could do single operations, where we come in here and we say actions and we create our purchase order. Or you can do things from a, a mass processing screen. So while this is created, over under purchases, imagine your purchasing um, person is doing his purchase orders on a daily basis in mass. So I'll just click on that. Let me open the pop ups here. And I'll go to purchases and I'll go to create purchase orders. And what you'll know here, what you'll notice here is that Acumatica will show all the list of items that can be created onto purchase orders. And you can see the plan type here. So here are some drop ships. Uh, here are some sales orders to purchase orders and so on. So what we can see here is our purchase order, which is our item, I'm sorry, which is right here, the Acer laptop and we could check it off. So you could check off all the ones. These are the purchase to order ones. These are our drop ships. You'd also see inventory replenishment in here as well. So this is where we can do it in, from a mass processing screen. But I'm gonna go back to our sales order and I'm gonna do it from here. So we're gonna say create purchase order. Acumatica brings us to the very same screen we're on, but it filters it for us. So we only see the one that's that we're concerned with. So we'll check it. Notice also that you have the vendor selected. So this vendor can be changed right from here. This vendor was defaulted. It's the default vendor of this particular item, which is why it came up. But again, as a purchasing person, uh, I can certainly change it and, and pick another vendor if I need to but I'm gonna say process this. I'm gonna keep the same vendor. And now I have my purchase order. Notice it's a type drop ship. And if we go over to shipping instructions, you'll notice it says ship to customer, as opposed to typically it comes into the warehouse. There's the information, the ship to information came from the sales order, the, the customer shipping location. And here's the shipping information. Now I, I could check here and override the contact. I could check here and override the address if needed, um, but I'm not gonna do that. So then at this point, I would take it off hold and I could email it out to the vendor. I could print it. and even email it. Acumatica has integrated email, so we could email it from here and uh, maybe, you know, make a reference to the our normal purchasing contact uh, at, at Emperor. Okay, so now if we go back to our dropship, a couple of things I want to show here. 
from the purchasing area of Acumatic or from the purchase orders, I can look at the SO demand. Right? So I can see this sales order here, 4546. And I can click on it and open it up just to confirm maybe something's going on. Maybe there's a delay I got. I want to call up the customer and let them know. We can open up the sales order from here. Additionally, from the sales order, now that we're in it, I can look at the PO link. And I can go right back to it. So from either side of things, you can drive back and forth. So there's a continuity between them. Okay, so now this purchase, this drop ship, we get word from the vendor that they've shipped it out. So we would enter a PO receipt here. Okay, they've shipped it out. They received one of the one that's ordered and we'll release this. This will get this into inventory. Okay, so now we've completed the vendor side of things. Now, if we go back to the sales order, process shipments, Acumatica lets you prepare your drop ship invoices. So from here, this is our drop ship invoice, and you'll notice we have the ability to take this purchase receipt as a shipment and convert it into a customer's invoice. Now again with these processing screens notice there could be multiples here so you could basically come in here and look for all your drop ships for the day process all of them convert them into invoices. You can also schedule our processing screens in Acumatica so I can say you know what every day at the end of the day if anything was drop shipped I've gotten that word from the vendor. I want you to create all the invoices for the customers so that I don't forget. They'll always be here queued up, so you'll you'll always catch them. Um, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to check this and say process. And now we've created our invoice for this customer. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if there's any questions, feel free to contact us at the end of the video there's contact information